The year is 2018. Nations are divided, paranoia runs rampant, and as soon as you think you're safe, facts become subjective. You are listening to Conspiracy Facts. Guys, welcome back to the Conspiracy Facts Podcast. I am your co-host, Ty Turner. And I'm your co-host, Dylan Van Zant. And we are here, joined today by a guest. Hi. And a loved one. A loved one. <laughs> by whom? I'm Sam. My Sam Reed. Sam. Sam, I am. Sam, I am. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like them, Sam, I am. <laughs> I do not like the JFK assassination. That's what Which is a lot of weird. <laughs> 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 that's no, actually what that was about a lot of people don't know that there's like a lot of underlying political memeage in um dr seuss, dr. seuss? Yeah. yeah no i, I kind of caught that with redfish bluefish yeah one fish two, or however that order goes <laughs> one fuck two fucks red yeah. fuck blue fuck yeah none um, to give but yeah uh green eggs and ham was about the jfk assassination so mm-hmm. it is appropriate and that's why we decided to have sam on today's podcast is because of the JFK assassination. <laughs> so, shout, shouts out to everyone involved. <laughs> and uh, let's jump right into it. So, okay, gosh, sorry guys. Wow, uh, Dylan, you want to give us a little background, a little rundown, a little downtown, hometown, <laughs> a little home Joe run, Brown, Joe uh, Brown, hold down, throw down. So, JFK, as we all know, was a president. <laughs> uh which president was he do you do you remember like 40 no not 40 40 uh like second. no 40 we're on like 45 he... right now mm, oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, like 30 yeah. second um, no not quite no well i don't know he became the president in 1960 right so he was a very popular candidate on both sides of the republican and democratic par- uh, parties because he kind of was a little bit messed of both worlds. He was loved by a whole lot. And his wife, Jackie Kennedy, kind of established the role of first lady. That's why he was a big popular president. I mean, he besides... good looking. And besides right. being a president, yeah. he, right. was, he was well known for other right. things. <laughs> 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 you know, he, he grew up in a, in a, a, a fairly wealthy family in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. I think Boston is where he grew up. That's where his uh, campaign headquarters was. Okay. Um... Now, we're not talking about his presidency, though, today. No. We are talking about what happened on November 22nd, 1963. Dun-dun-dun. dun dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> The esteemed JFK assassination. 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 Which is probably the most controversial assassination in, I'd say, world history. Yeah. I, I, it could I, be. It's up there. Yeah. And be- besides the murder of Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So there are a lot of theories, a lot of things floating around uh, surrounding the JFK assassination, but um, we're here to deliver the facts. The, and the first heart. fact is a question: Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why did they name the president after the JFK International Airport? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's pure coincidence, and that's where <laughs> that's where he got the nickname from. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I See. mean, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree that it, it's a very it's a very coincidental thing for. <laughs> no, no. What I what I stand to believe is is you know based on our, our previous episode about the Denver Airport, mm-hmm. the JFK International Airport can't be all, you know, straight. What edge. it says it is right, right. It's it's got to have, but it can't be secrets. a hell. It can't be a hell. Not like Denver. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Dylan, do you want to start us off with our first conspiracy fact? That isn't a question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, let's now let's just go ahead and and start with what the history books will tell you. Just just to kind of get that out in the open. So, the history books will say that uh, there was a man named uh, Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus <laughs> who sailed the ocean blue, fourteen hundred ninety two. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, um, Lee Harvey Oswald. That's his name. I couldn't think of his name. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. 
He was a worker at the Texas School Book Depository mm-hmm. in uh, in Dallas, Texas. And what is said to, to what is believed by by most people and uh, by non conspiracists is that he um, on the day of a parade Kennedy was having, uh, driving down. I don't remember what the street's called, but he, he was driving down in his motorcade. Lee Harvey Oswald was in the top four of the Texas School Book Depository, and he shot Kennedy three times, Square I believe. Square in the dome. Right in the dome. You you can, I mean... The he, facts are there. Yeah, Chrome wasn't to his dome, but it still <laughs> went boom. It went through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, R.I.P. Now... Now the other kind of kind of um, what kind of gets people a little off off the rails from there mm-hmm. is that not only was Kennedy killed, uh, his oh shoot who was it? Well, his brother was killed. Yeah. There were a lot of the Kennedys were killed. Yeah, 60, yeah. damn. damn. Um, Their family is. Crazy. I'm gonna <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, you gotta talk a little bit louder. That's okay. Nice. Okay. Just I, I knew what that meant. Okay. I was just fucking with you. Um, let me look this up real quick. You, you guys can fill in. So, what a lot of people don't know is that the uh, PBS television children's show called Oswald um, about the octopus is <laughs> is um, directly correlated. Yeah, it's based off the JFK assassination, and a lot of. You know, it's kind of like a loose interpretation, more of an inspired by true events rather than based on a true story sort of adaptation to children's television from the president's death. Um, But it is there are a lot of facts in there. If you do choose to kind of analyze it and and pick it apart, you will see a lot of that. Sam, have you ever seen that show? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oswald the Octopus. He's a big blue. Big a kid's show. Purple. Yeah. Purple. Yeah. Um, when we were kids, or yeah, so there's a sunflower, and that's his best friend. (laughs) I'm not entirely sure. I'm glad you know so much about this. Now, I don't think it's PBS. I believe it's Nick Jr. Was it Nick Jr.? I think you're right. It was Nick Nick Jr. 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 And and Oz, I don't remember a whole lot about Oswald. No, Nick Jr. Like 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 kids. Okay, Nick in the midday (laughs) afternoon (laughs) snack. Yeah. Um, there was a wiener dog, and it actually had a bun and mustard on it. Like it was a character. Yeah, yeah, that was wow. his pet. That was his pet. His pet. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I've ne- I've I've never seen. You've this. never seen no. Oswald the octopus. No. Mm. Wow. Well, wow. I didn't know. Dylan, that. do you have any updates? Okay, so yes. So not only was JFK shot, but the governor of Texas, uh, Governor Connolly. I don't know his first name. Uh, governor. He was, yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Context. Said it right there, dude. <laughs> uh, governor Connolly was also shot, but he survived. Now, Kennedy was hit three times, and there were anywhere between three to eight shots heard, varying on witnesses. Mm. Now, um, now after Kennedy was shot and after the governor was shot, they were rushed to the hospital. Kennedy was declared dead at 1 p.m., and Governor Connolly recovered. That selfish bastard. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <So. laughs> No, uh, so, so that, that just goes to question. Now, you know, if people believe that, people believe that, that, um, Lee Harvey Oswald did it because he was a, um, uh, sympathetic towards the Russian cause. He, he actually, um, was in the U.S. military. He, uh, is married to a Russian woman. Um, and he, I think months prior to the assassination, maybe a year or so, uh, had come back from Russia, so they think that he's kind of a uh, uh, a bit of a um, a Putin, as a, they would say. A Putin, yeah, he a is Putin. a. <laughs> 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 so, so that that kind of leads people to, to conspire that, that maybe mm. he did it. Now, Lee Harvey Oswald was found. Um, he shot another police officer um, and killed him. So was JFK a police officer? JFK was at one point a police officer in training. Okay. Yeah. So there he So maybe it didn't have anything to do with him being the president. Maybe it was about <laughs> the cops the whole time. Yeah. He was I, on a cop killing that's spree. That's an idea. Exactly. And yeah. that's a fact. That that's, well, that's a fact. Yeah. Sorry. No ideas here. <laughs> this is the conspiracy facts podcast. Conspiracy facts. facts. We're bringing the facts. facts. Yep. We're right. going to facts facts all across the world. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he could have been a Putin. He could have been a Putin. Um, and after he was caught, they didn't get a whole lot of time to interrogate him because as they were transporting him, Jack Ruby, a Dallas club owner, comes up and just <laughs> right in the gut. That sounds like something that someone with the name Jack Ruby would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh. Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby's coming in. Huh? You hear what Jack Ruby did? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so now we will never get full answers on, on his side of the mm. thing, unless you read the Stephen King novel, 112263. That's what I was telling you. Sam yeah. also knows well, about that. Well, I've watched that. the whole show. On, on Hulu. And it's fantastic. Right, oh yeah. We gosh. are sponsored by that show on Hulu starring... Um, uh, the guy from Pineapple Express. Damn straight. Uh, uh, James, James Franco. Franco. Yeah, James Franco. <laughs> George. George Franco. <laughs> George of the Jungle Franco. <laughs> um, anyway, so that, that's the basic facts to, to get started. So so the first theory, I guess, is, okay, maybe Lee Harvey Oswald did it. But So, I, so we said that the history books will tell us that Lee Harvey Oswald did it. Mm-hmm. And the fact is that maybe he did it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's okay. Okay, that's, that's the fact. That's how you know. Yeah, you know, you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. The uh, the American um, fucking school system—they're always trying to tell you fake exactly. shit. It's all fake news in those Te- history books. textbooks. Are just getting money from the government, man. That's that's how they. Are <laughs> they're just typing up whatever they can think of on the spot <laughs> and calling it facts. Oh, oh I got an idea. <laughs> Oswald. I like the name Oswald. Yeah. <laughs> Oswald, where's your dog? He was a bit of a Putin. <laughs> Chapter three. Oswald was a Putin. So. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite chapter of any book ever. Oswald was a Putin. <laughs> Did he have a gas problem or what? Find out this chapter. <laughs> okay. Um. So, who killed? JFK and why? Some people say it was the government. The mm-hmm. CIA wanted him out of here. He was doing some fucked up shit. Some people say it was the racists because he was trying to, you know, do some civil rights and stuff. Some say it was suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it was elaborate. It was a really elaborate. Um, some people think it was the mob. There's all sorts of different mobs. Some that people tried think to it was it. Jackie. Oh yeah! Wow. Even though she was right there, was she just. But she was brave. I mean, maybe yeah. she must have hired a expert marksman. No, she did it herself. <laughs> she could have done it in the car. No, that's impossible. No. She, but it could have been. If you see the stage, video, if you, you know? see the video where his head like gets yeah, shot immediately, she just grabs she him. Someone. I don't think it was her because she was kind of a fucking badass, and I like her. And so I do that's like how her I form too. My opinions. That that is that, like I have nothing against her. Well, the fact of the matter is, she seems pretty cool. So she. But didn't the fact her. of the matter okay. is, she did assassinate President Kennedy. Mm, interesting <laughs> conflicting facts i never thought it would come to this <laughs> um, so dylan what are your facts so so th- what i really my personal p- personal facts on the on the matter <laughs> it's the fact that it wasn't oswald okay instead it was the weenie dog <laughs> <laughs> it was Squidward. <laughs> no. Different, different. Uh, what is it? A cephalopod? Uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay. Cephalopod. I I believe that that it was someone else. Now, now, I don't believe in the whole second shooter thing. A lot of people say, okay, there was another shooter on the little bunker hill um, by the road that shots came off of. No, they shouldn't have even. Put a Bunker Hill by the road if they didn't want right. to get Have shot. Have they not heard of the Battle of Bunker Hill? <laughs> <laughs> so who do you, who do you who do your facts say that it is? I'm gonna go with the mob, mm. and not like not like a, a New York style mob, not whatever. I'm talking about a flash mob. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Now, what song was playing when he was killed? Uh, let's think. I'm gonna go with, um, Do the Twist by, I think, the Beatles? Okay. <laughs> oh, Twist Beatles. and Shout. Twist and Shout. That's the song oh, I'm thinking of, not the yeah. Do the Twist. I, I believe that was the song, and they all started just dancing, getting pictures and everything. Well, one of the pictures, the Flash blinded Kennedy so much that his head exploded. Wow. That's, that's personally what I believe. Now, did Oswald take the photo? 
Oswald was taking the photo at the time, but he was taking like a group photo. He okay. was that's why he was up in the in the depository was he was just taking a picture, and then whenever he saw Kennedy's head explode, he just bolted. He was like, "Man, I can't." I'm, he was he was what is it? Not anemic, but uh, where you can't stand to look at blood. Oh. Mm, I don't know what that is, but I, I don't think know. That's a lot of people. Or like like where you like get sick when you oh maybe it, uh, I don't know it, it's not anemic like but it is something like yeah that. I don't know what it's, yeah nauseous um I don't know what it's called but he he just was like man I can't I can't see blood I can't see blood so he just ran he just ran and finally they caught him Jack Ruby shot him because Jack Ruby was the one who took the <laughs> fatal picture oh really it was it was a frame it was a setup it was classic jack ruby you could say Switch he was ruby. framed because it was a bunch of pictures so oh you're my right. god <laughs> he did the old switcher ruby uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and that's our show <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys that was the conspiracy facts podcast okay so here are some other facts yeah yeah i think that it is a fact that we need to examine some of the um, similarities mm-hmm. between Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. Because we cannot have a John F. Kennedy podcast without going over that. Right. Because I think that leads to some pretty interesting facts, you know, that might point us in the direction of his death. Definitely. Now, now, now just for people who may not be educated, what, who is Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln um, was the Johnny Appleseed of American presidents. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say of Americans. I'm like, Johnny Appleseed was American. <laughs> no. yeah. In the sense that he just had a nice big beard. <laughs> he wore a top hat. From Kentucky. He, no, he was from Illinois. He was from somewhere. And he was the president. Yeah. What was he, like the 16th, 14th, 16th. something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was the 16th president. Real fucking tall guy. Who was his vice president? I have no idea. Oh, wait. Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. So, we'll, um, he... Didn't necessarily crusade for, you know, slavery to be abolished. That's just sort of the turn that his presidency took. And he followed that and it w- went worked out well for pretty much everyone involved except for the farmers, I guess. But they can suck it up and pay laborers. Um, <clears throat> so Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Whoa. <laughs> so... That's like that's a year two or facts. two apart. That's at least two years apart, and it the numbers are so similar that it's almost too similar. Another mm. fact is that Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860, while John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Fun fact, those were both election years. Wow. <laughs> So if you considering that, there's just another piece of wood to add to the pile. Uh, oh man, they wow. both became president in election years. <laughs> Mother oh, fuck. Wow. <laughs> um so Lincoln and Kennedy, both names have seven letters. Wow. And seven. if you know from the Da Vinci Code, the number seven <laughs> is in the Bible. I've seen that movie. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. So yeah, the movie seven. And yeah. that has Brad Pitt. And um, Morgan Freeman. Angelina Jolie. Uh, uh, their adopted babies. D- Mr. and Mrs. Sp- Smith. Meet the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, both uh, both Abraham and Kennedy. Lincoln and John. <laughs> they, they were both uh, concerned with civil rights. They were both making moves, making money moves for uh, the marginalized people. Um, both wives lost their children while living in the White House. Making and I'm not sure. People? Marginalized. Marginalized. I thought you said marshalized. I'm like, I think it's Marshallese. <laughs> 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 I didn't quite, didn't quite know that. No, not exactly. <laughs> um, where did the children go? I don't know. But they were both lost. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Mm. Now, could that have been some sort of foreshadowing to the hit uh, YouTube original from Rebecca Black, Friday. Now, now, quick question though. Okay, so so we know that John F. Kennedy was was murdered on eleven twenty two sixty three, but was that a Friday the thirteenth? The facts haven't checked out yet, but I would say yes. It was Friday. The- <laughs> yes. Yeah, eleven twenty two sixty three. Sixty three was, was a, a Friday the thirteenth. Oh, let me just. 
Can you yep, put that in the right. fact checker? Yep, okay, that great. fact check comes out right. So, um, Lincoln, Link, Lincoln's secretary. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lincoln's secretary was named <coughs> Kennedy, mm-hmm. and he said, "Lincoln, you best not be going into that theater, boy." And Kennedy's secretary, hundred years later, was named Lincoln, and he said, "Wow, I I best advise that you do not take a trip to Dallas." <laughs> and guess what? Both of them did what their secretaries that had each other's names said not to do, and both of them died because of it. Wow. Both were assassinated by Southerners. Southerners. <laughs> With a hard V. <laughs> Southerners. Souvenirs. <laughs> Souvenirs. <laughs> <laughs> One was a little tiny plastic statue of Liberty. Yeah, hit with a snow globe. <laughs> The plate with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> with a drop of blood. It just drips onto it, obviously. Um, both were succeeded by Southerners. Christ. <laughs> Southerners. And uh, both of their successors were named Johnson. Mm. Which is a, both a fact and it's a dick joke. So that's, that's fun. Kinda... Okay, fun fact. This is a true fact. Any president that has ever uh, been threatened with impeachment has a name that is also a another name for penis. Really? Like, like Johnson, uh, Bill Clinton, William, Willie. Okay. Uh, who else was there? Um, was there a Richard? Richard Nixon. There we yep. go. Dick. Yep. Um, Dick Nicky, as yep. they called him <laughs> on the, on the was baseball also team. <laughs> Mike Cock Jones. <laughs> Mike Cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Anyways, continue. Um, so John Wilkes Booth was born in 1839. That's the, uh, dude who shot Lincoln in the head, supposedly. And Lee Harvey Oswald was born in 1939. Wow. The guy who was framed for taking the, um, fatal picture of John F. Kennedy. (laughs) He was, yeah, he was framed for that. And both assassins were known by their three names, both John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald. And both names are comprised of 15 letters. Wow. So both ran, or Booth ran from the theater and was caught in a warehouse, and Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. And both of them were assassinated before their trials. So. Is that all your facts? Because I got one more for you. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. Uh, Lincoln was assassinated in the Ford Theater in Washington, D.C. Kennedy was there. assassinated in a Lincoln, which was made by Ford. Whoa. That's fucking... That's wild. Yeah, that, that's some facts for You've you. You've been to the Ford Theater? Yeah. I've, I've been there, oh, too. Oh, I think I, I did, too. Washington, D.C. on a yeah. school trip. I, I went there on the spooky. Urban's Very cool. trip. Oh, uh, yeah. Urban's. Urban. Ur- he went to all the urban cities in the world. Yeah. Wow. It was pretty cool. <laughs> um, it was pretty cool. It was neat. And it was all right. All right, bro. <laughs> How much did that set you back? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's it, it sitting right. with the population over fifty thousand. I would too. Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. And some oh. of them were, were very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous. Um, others were just. Yeah. My name is Tyler, and I'm here to say this episode does not contain a segue into the sponsored portion of the show, um, and that is what this is. So, uh, yeah, I mean. At least I couldn't find the segue portion where I said, okay, now we're going to go to our sponsors. Um, If that ends up being somewhere else in the episode, there's not going to be two sponsored parts. It's just this. So just ignore that if you find it somewhere else. I could not find it. Um, So yeah, here it is. Here we are. First off, first thing I want to talk about is adorableaesthetic.com. Adorable Aesthetic is a shop that Christy actually runs, and it is uh, super cool, lots of cute stuff, lots of cute clothes, very like Tumblr, very kawaii, very, I don't know, the kind of shit that, you know, you, you'd you probably want to buy, so go check it out. <laughs> they got plushies, they got enamel pins, they got cool stationary stuff, um, all sorts of all sorts of different shit jewelry and clothes, crop tops, and yeah, that, that kind of stuff. So adorableaesthetic.com. It's very cute. Uh, yeah. So, or you can check out adorable aesthetic on Instagram and see some of their products and you'll know whenever they're having sales and just, you know, in general, keep up to date with what they're doing. 
Next up is my merch store. And that is teespring.com slash stores slash Ty Turner March, or there will be a link to it in the description um, if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can find it pinned to my Twitter profile or in the link of the description of like all of my YouTube videos. Um, if you want to go check that out, we got shirts, stickers, hoodies, all sorts of fun stuff, and I'm going to be adding new merch very soon. So keep up to date with that. And then finally, the last thing I want to talk about is, of course, my Patreon. There is a podcast tier on my Patreon, and we are doing bonus episodes every month of the podcast. Uh, Not necessarily conspiracy facts related. It's just going to probably be uh, some other thing that Dylan and I end up doing on there. We recorded the first episode in sort of a narrative style where we tell a story do characters and come up with a setting and it's all improv um we will get your feedback on that and then let you like if if you don't end up liking that style we'll do something else on there but there are uh, there is bonus content and you of course get every episode of this podcast early so check out ty turner on patreon and the podcast here and of course there are other tiers if you just like my content in general and want to see more of it That is all for the sponsored section of this episode. Let's get back to the fact. What's going on here? What are the facts behind these incredible correlations, which, as we do know, equal causation? So what happened here? I would say it is a full circle time travel paradox involving both of them where they are both secretly each other's assassins. <laughs> That's what I I think so too. Like have, what's really that cool. that movie is it Looper with Joseph Gordon-Levitt mm, yes. and Bruce Willis yes. mm. where they just go back in time try and kill each other and mm. they're like the same person? Could be. I've only seen the trailer for it. So that may not be an accurate <laughs> description. <laughs> Might not have anything to do. I also have only seen the trailer. <laughs> um there uh what have you seen that film that was at Sundance and everyone was really psyched about it? That was uh, I didn't go that year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was that science fiction film that was like took them seven thousand dollars to make, and they ended ended up making like at least five hundred grand on it. Um, but it was uh, I think Shane Carruth is the name of the director, but I don't remember the movie. But it was, was like it Star Wars. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. It was Star Wars: A New Hope. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's a time travel movie where they like make a, a time machine in a storage container. But um Oh, Bill and Ted. It could have been something like that. Yes. Yeah. So it was Bill and Ted's Awesome Adventure. Yeah. Book. It was um Tim and Eric's awesome show, great job. <laughs> yeah. Eric Andre show. Eric Andre's Hannibal Lecter show. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, I think that Kennedy was killed by Lincoln Mm -hmm. Hmm. in the Ford Theater in a Ford Lincoln. Um, But it was part of the act. Ah. So it was never real. Right. And then they had to fulfill the prophecy and each sort of chase each other throughout time and both actually assassinate each other in order to sort of save the space-time continuum. Mm. Right. Now, now, I think we should get... Sam, what's your opinion Sam, on this? Sam, what are song? your facts well, on yeah, the what, what, Just as someone who knows nothing to nothing about U.S. history, um, uh, what, what are your thoughts? What, what are your facts? My facts about JFK? Yeah. Like about him in general or just no, the about how, he died. how did he die? How did he die? Who, who died him? I kind of liked where you were going with the mob. But is that a fact? Do you, do you believe that's a fact? I do. Mm. No. No. Oh, mm, see, that's no. the thing. It, 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 wow. We're all about facts. Wow. No. Wow. Conflicting facts. No. So, Sam, get in here and let us know basically what your facts on the what, situation are. What does the evidence tell you? Uh, so he was shot three times, right? As far as I know, yeah. Okay. Um, and it was, where was he shot? He was shot once you know? in the side of the head and then once in the throat. And, and then pinky toe. Pinky toe. Head, shoulders, pinky toe. (laughs) (laughs) That's where that song came from. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's where they got that song, actually. Oh, yeah. Which was wild. Because <laughs> I, I think that, like, you know, it, it, it has a, a big effect on U.S. history, whatever you're about to say right here. So I, I, we just need an answer. Yeah, whatever these facts are, <laughs> let's get them out. Because I need to unpack this. Uh, I, I can tell you're holding a lot in. I'm really just, not. I just can't think of anything. I don't believe that. That's not a fact. You could see the look of strain on his face. Um, he knows something. He knows. He knows. Okay. Don't okay. make us waterboard you, because we will on the podcast. <laughs> I don't care about how that's going to fuck with the sound quality. <laughs> <laughs> that's what waterboarding sounds like. I don't What is waterboarding? Water bo- oh, hey. Okay. There we go. Here we go. the podcast first. <laughs> <laughs> I read some, there was a shower thought on reddit that said uh you know waterboarding at guantanamo bay sounds like an awesome time if you don't know what either of those things are <laughs> <laughs> it really does so waterboarding is whenever you put like a cloth oh, over someone's like face and pour water on it and it makes it feel like they're drowning because wow. they can't breathe through it but they're not actually people drowning. do this yeah it's like a torture method that the u.s government uses to get stuff like intel out of people and then like a bunch of fucked up people use this to fuck mm. with people for whatever reason if you want to keep someone alive but torture them they feel their body literally thinks that they're actually drowning and they oh go into this God. like intense state of panic even though they know they're not and you basically feel like you experience drowning over and over and over until they stop waterboarding you so we could do that oh. i'll go get the washcloth no cool. uh, i'll get the board that sounds like the worst thing ever <laughs> <laughs> um so, gives the facts. Oh, I really don't have anything. He doesn't have any facts. He doesn't have any facts. I think I think we could we can probe him a little more with with some more some more of our facts. You know? Okay. Because because I mean, if you look at uh you know you know back to the mob theory, if you look at at uh, his other uh, family who was assassinated, Al Capone. Al Capone was assassinated, and they're very closely related. Um, well, I mean, Robert Kennedy, his brother, he was, I think it was, it was either Robert or Ted. Bobby. Oh, Bobby was assassinated. Bobby was it Bobby? 69, yeah. I believe. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because he was going to run That's for the president. the best year to die. <laughs> Except unless you could die in 420. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be born in 420 and die in 69. <laughs> you have to be born in, like, BC, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Or BCE. I'm sure, like, well, no, I'm sure there's like a sh- like a dinosaur or something. Not well, not a dinosaur, but like a shark or something that lived like 300 years that could have been born in 420 and died in 69. That's true. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I, yeah, I'm sure there was something on Earth. Something, at least a plant, if nothing else. That's next episode, though. <laughs> next episode, what thing lived <laughs> from 420 <laughs> to 69? <69. laughs> <laughs> tune in don't miss it, <laughs> don't miss it. <laughs> next friday at 8 5 central <laughs> that's not how those times work out <laughs> it's an eight hour shift <laughs> oh okay <laughs> we took an hour for lunch that's why <laughs> uh, uh sam what are your favorite conspiracies um or do you are you just brainwashed I don't really know a lot about conspiracies, if I'm being honest with you. Well, this is um, a waste. I know about the moon one. You guys, didn't you do a video about that? We talked a little bit. Do you have what anything else think? to add on the moon? Because the moon oh, and JFK are very closely related. Were you talking about um, like that it was faked? Yeah. That, it's yeah. cheese. It's a hologram. Mm. Um, uh, every, it, every photo is in black and white. Surfers. But there's it. video too, right? Yeah. There are videos of the surfers. Of the surfers? Yeah, they made a big surf video. It's called Surf's Up. I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's their sponsor me tape. <laughs> and it went over really well, but it did kind of sketch some people out in the tinfoil hat community because of all the weird moonage going on. Kelly Slater just couldn't do that naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and there were penguins in it. So that's <laughs> a lot of penguins. There were a lot of pink. It was actually entirely penguin cast. <laughs> Is that the toe tapping one? No, that's happy. That's feet. happy feet. That's close. Wow. Close. Okay. Okay. So okay. happy feet is more to do with communicating with the reptilian overlords that live inside of our hollow earth. 
whereas Surf's Up is more about the creation um, and execution of the big moon cheese. Oh. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to to work this all out for the for the assassination. Yeah. So okay. What what do we think like really have like like because we're both I mean we're both speaking facts we're both right we have some facts. Can I see what that is? It's my little fiddle ball. Oh, that's cool. I, I figured that would be better than playing with my phone. Yes, <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Dylan has a hacky sack in chain link. <laughs> like a, it's a, it's chain a chain mail, mail hacky sack. <laughs> yeah. So I was just kind of like uh, curious yeah. as to what that was. It's my it's my thinky thing. That's very cool. Um. Anyway, so so I, I'm sure we're both correct on on what what happens when it comes to JFK um, having a bullet or object pierced through his skull. Or maybe not even pierce, but just blow it up entirely. Right. Maybe. Now, here, here's something we haven't considered. Maybe, I mean, like you said, the moon and JFK are very closely related. Yeah. Maybe one of the Secret Service agents came up and told him in this year, look, the moon's made of cheese and his head just exploded. That could have been it. It could have been <laughs> and, like over the intercom in his ear. Yeah. And the, the gunshots, mm-hmm. quote unquote, were just... Parts of his skull just just going boom, just bah, bah, bah. right? Because I mean, oh, it's mm-hmm. like when yeah. you see it in movies and you see an explosion, and then they show it from another angle. Obviously, you hear it again. Right. So that was all of the different angles that people were Since seeing. It was a flash mob from and yeah, exactly. Multiple multiple camera multiple angles. angles. It was like <laughs> right, <laughs> a, maybe one in slow motion. Mm-hmm. A, a good a good uh, <clears throat> you know a, um, example of that though would be in the uh, hit film. Uh, Threat Level Midnight uh, yep. by director Michael Gary Scott. And Goldface. And Golden Face, yeah. Golden Face is sort oh. of like the Oswald of that situation. Right. The octopus or the assassin? The octopus. <laughs> okay. Because I do remember him saying to that flower, I'm going to hump her real good. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's how you know. <laughs> it's all tied together. It really is. I knew there was a reason my parents didn't let me watch that show after a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean that that could very well be you know jfk was just like man it's gonna be such a pretty night in dallas the clouds will be out in the sky we'll be able to see the moon and the secret service guy goes up uh, mr president um the moon is a cheese hologram <laughs> it's a cheese hologram <laughs> made for surfers by surfers <laughs> And his head just exploded from the mind-blowing facts. And Jackie rushes over to him because she's like, why the hell would you tell him that? Because Jackie knew the whole time. Jackie's always known. She's a very smart lady. She's been there since day one of right. the moon. Right. Uh, she actually was a chief engineer and was a big surfer back in the uh, 40s. That, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> She uh, she was actually the soul surfer. D- oh yeah! <laughs> and she her name was Bethany back then. Uh-huh. She had one of her arms bit off by a shark, and she used that as an opportunity to preach the gospel and uh, print out Bibles for children with mm-hmm. pictures of herself surfing inside of them. Right now, now that that comes to the um, question, since this was the '60s, or, or, or you know, what what year did she get her arm bitten off in? Mm, at least. 50 at least 50 so (laughs) so now now correct me if i'm wrong but in any picture or video i've ever seen of her i mean you know the the, one of the first ladies um prime not not jobs necessarily but one of one of the things that she's expected to do is to wave to the people right Mm -hmm. well in any video i've ever seen of her she's waving now she does have long white gloves exactly so when on earth was the government going to tell us we have had animatronics since at least 50? <laughs> exactly. They're not going to. No. We've, had, we, we've been able to make prosthetic limbs this whole time. And there's still people out there dying. Some might argue that Jackie Kennedy herself was entirely robotic at that point. Ah. Because she couldn't stay away from those waves, man. 
<laughs> those, those sharks just kept coming. It'd be like if Anakin Skywalker just couldn't get enough of the lava and yeah. kept, kept trying to surf those little rock things and jump higher. Mm-hmm. Nope, he's he's gonna be robotic by the end of it all. By the end of it, there's gonna be nothing but a microchip with her consciousness uploaded into a robotic body, mm-hmm. and that's why she didn't give a shit when his head exploded. She just dove right onto him, yeah. and cried. She didn't say, oh, my own flesh body is also penetrable by bullets and other things such as camera flashes or news about the cheese hologram moon. She just went right for it. Yeah, exactly. And another thing is, you know, I from what I've learned about robots, they are very... Uh, uh, homoerotic. Homoerotic in the sense that they are perceptive to... Uh, oh, uh, what's it called where you... Uh, a bunch of lights flashing and stuff like makes them have like a epilepsy seizure. epilepsy robot robots have a lot of epilepsy and with all those cameras flashing around her she just dived onto jfk because she couldn't deal with that she was mm-hmm. like no cameras no cameras she <laughs> said it's gonna short circuit my circuit <laughs> right and and she started crying because that that was the emotion programmed and when it, you know, i mean when you program a robot you're gonna say okay whenever someone you care about if their head blows up yeah. Sad. Right. If, Sad. If loved one is dead. Sad. You. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> and there were a lot of other things. And that's why she was angry about the moon hologram. Because it's like, secret, mm-hmm. mad. <laughs> <laughs> if secret, then mad. Yeah. I mean, and then, but the, of course, in robot language, it's like zero zero one one zero oh zero sixteen. Uh-huh. You know. However, Actually, I think back then they spoke Braille. Okay, so yeah. it was like big dot, little dot, <laughs> yeah. line. Yeah. line. No, 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 that's Morse code. Oh, you're right. <laughs> dot dot dash. Um, Bra- Braille is like like this. Yeah, it's it's the you touch it. You touch it. Yeah, yeah. There's lines in Braille, isn't there? No. no, it's dots. It's all dots. It's just a series of dots. It's like, a, like a, 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 a two by three of dots. Mm, okay. I've seen them on signs. Ah, uh, yeah. The movie with the M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, right. gotcha. Right. Yeah. Swing away, Merle. A Shyamalama ding dong? Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. Sam, do you have anything you want to add? Any kind of conspiracy things that you would like to discuss? I feel like you've been pretty quiet. Uh No. I think we could no. dive a little bit deeper into who Sam is in order to kind of bring out some of the... Sam, let's get your conspiracy Sam's facts tired. on yourself. You're so, tired. T- tell, yeah. us, tell us something that you've never told anyone else before. And <sighs> don't think about that we're going to broadcast it to the world. Right. Just just think about... What's your biggest... What's your deepest, darkest secret? What's your I'm biggest fear? Tell you my, my biggest fear? Yeah, like like a deep, guttural, like, instinctive... Um... Animal nature fear like what's in here like being alone being alone yeah it's okay dark. we're here for you buddy we're we're both here and i know right. i'm not afraid now hey tyler i have something to talk to you about in the hallway okay yeah okay Now are you scared? Because that was a simulation. Oh, if you were alone, Sam, I can I can see the tears just streaming down your face. This has been groundbreaking emotionally. This is I think we've made progress here. We've broke ground and we've fucked it up. I'm real, real Sam, fucking nasty on this uh, uh, emotional. Uh, now, now, okay, just to kind of get your idea of of where you're at emotionally. Now, t- answer my question from earlier. How much do your does your family make on average a year? A million. No, that's a, that's a total. A lie. million what? A that's milli. A, um, a million about. pieces. A million pieces. Pieces. Pesos. A million uh, Bitcoin. Ooh, Fuck, you know, shit. Your parents yeah. are loaded. Yeah, really? Shit. Is that good? Yeah. A million. Okay, yeah. That's good. They I think one Bitcoin on goes low. for like 17,000. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good to know. So you're... You can go to college now. What, what would that... That would be like... 17 trillion let's hope mm, if 17 hope. a million what's a million times seventeen thousand? that has to be yeah it has to be at least a very big number it, it yeah. is i mean for my calculations times one million 
So how did your parents get into this Bitcoin operation? Do they build them themselves? No, they pay someone to handle all of it. Okay. Just like everything else. It's 17 Taxes billion. 17 nope. billion? Yes. Mm. Yes. 17 billion. Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is like, uh, isn't it like over now? Like you just have the... It, it, it's a, it's a, the this... market's in decline. Yeah. So if your parents are smart, they'd sell now. Yeah. All right, I'll let now, me know. Now, what's, what's their average ACT score? What's their super score? I think they took the SAT, and I don't know what that was. What, what, but was it like... It was Translate like the their SAT 80s, score into... I don't know. <clears throat> it was a lot, like... Now, what kind of haircut did your mom have in the 80s? Oh, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't tell but us But it anything. was like with the times. Like, it was cool for the, for the 80s. Was it bad or was it cool? Uh, it was cool for the 80s. Because the 80s is coming back in style. Oh, but in the 80s, you know, Michael Jackson, you would say bad oh, and it made good. Like, yeah. Ah, so yeah. that's what you meant by bad. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but then also, the that is kind of offensive because of the um, Weird Al spoof of that song, Fat. Yeah. Where basically, by saying bad, you were saying they are fat. Fat? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just But fat isn't necessarily a negative thing. It is, at this point just a descriptor correct yeah hmm. so was your mom's hair fat was her hair fat with a ph <laughs> oh uh funky, yeah funky funky fresh yeah. fat hair yeah uh, mommy Ooh, <laughs> on the don't <laughs> say that <laughs> the roller derbying around and probably blue eyeshadow Ooh. um how did your parents meet what's your dad's middle name What's his social security number? I don't know. I don't know. Why. What kind of car does he drive? What's the license plate on that car? <sighs> it's a Ford. What ca- oh. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, I <laughs> knew he knew something. <laughs> I fucking bent in on this the whole I time. I knew it. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> so now we really get to it. Now we really take deep. <laughs> and the truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you telling us, Sam? Yeah, Sam. What do yeah. you fucking know? Yeah, bro? Sam. Come on. We brought you on here for the facts, and you're just keeping stuff in. And now your dad drives a Ford? Yeah. Hmm. A Ford. Escape. Escape the Ford. Both Lee called. Harvey Oswald and John maybe. Wilkes Booth tried to escape. It might be Explorer. Mm-hmm. And they I got shot. That up. They both explore okay, yeah, yeah. different avenues to try to escape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, God. Well, guys, I think we fucking busted this one wide open. I think I think the door is wide <laughs> yeah. open for for more discussion in the future. Yeah, in our personal lives. Yes, outside of this uh, broadcasting network. Right, we don't get paid enough to talk to you all about it more. We don't get paid. <laughs> uh, we pay. <laughs> we, we pay. We pay. Yeah. We pay. We pay. Um. But thank you guys for listening to the Conspiracy Facts Podcast. This has been the JFK assassination episode. I am Ty Turner, your co-host. Now, now, we hold on. Hold just the hold the phone. Alright. We we still got one more segment left. Okay. Oh shit. You're right. (laughs) Moving on down to Chinatown with today's song. If it ends up being something like Asian related, I'm gonna <laughs> feel good, but I don't know that it is. <laughs> I don't I, remember, I, I don't think that song that we looked at has anything to do with, with Asia. What song is it? Do we already listen to it? Uh, yeah, we listened to it because I said that I really didn't want to do this song because it was stupid. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Okay, guys. Dylan, you want to introduce this segment? This segment is... <laughs> Okay, let's... Okay. Every 80s song, back to back, tells the story of the Wizard of Oz. That's right, guys. So every week on this podcast, we listen to one song from the 80s, or from the, the top 100 Billboard chart for the 1980s decade. That's right. And figure out, we decipher it, because we, we came to the conclusion that every 80s song... Uh, ends up telling the whole story of the Wizard of Oz. So uh, while we get this song pulled up and listened to, uh, we're going to take a short break. Is that right? Yeah, we will take a little break, and we will be right back with you guys with our interpretation of Captain and Tanili. maybe is the name of that person. Uh, do that to me one more time. That is the song we will be analyzing. So go ahead and pause this podcast, go over and listen to that song, and then come back, and you're going to hear... The cold hard stone 
rock ass rigid facts about how this tells the story of the Wizard yeah, of Oz. After a word from our sponsors. Boop boop boop. Toilet brush. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you need to wash your toilet? You don't you sick of your using your hands? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> try, try toilet brush. <laughs> Are you spending a fortune in soap because every time you wash your toilet, you gotta wash your hands? Toilet brush. <laughs> toilet brush. Toilet brush. <laughs> Same time, saves money, don't touch poop. All you gotta toilet do brush. is keep right next to your toilet in a little handy holder. Also, included, toilet brush may cause stickiness, drowsiness, <laughs> <laughs> red eyes. Uh, don't use a pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> or if you may become pregnant. And we are back. Uh, so, do that to me one more time by Captain and Tanil. My interpretation on these facts is that the fact is, this is talking about, uh, basically it's relaying the intro, the meeting with the Scarecrow. Uh, I, is that yeah. his name? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just kind of, just kind of like a freaky connotation well, to well, it, but yeah. Because of, the, because of Batman. Because of Batman. Yeah. And, it, and so this is the point where, um... So do that to me one more time. Once is never enough with a man like you. Uh, pass that by me one more time. So I think this all has to do with Dorothy kind of stumbling upon him and then kind of having to do all of these double takes, triple takes, quadruple takes, up all the way up until, you know, finally he reveals that he's alive. But, you know, she keeps having to, like, figure him out one more time. She's hearing him. She's seeing him move. Shit's going on. It's freaky. He injects her with the chemical that makes her trip the fuck out mm-hmm. and see her worst fears. Wait, no. Um, Psilocybin. Yeah. Like the mushrooms. Yeah. So he gives her some mushrooms and she's just like, fuck, man, I guess so. <laughs> and that's to do that to me one more time. Dylan, yeah. what do you think? I, I agree. And and when you take it into that connotation and kind of out of the romantic lovey-dovey, mm-hmm. you kind of get in the whole like... Where she's just freaked out by everything. She, she's like, whoa, do that one more time. No, <laughs> one more time. Exactly. No, come on, just one more time. He's like, what? I'm just dancing around. I'm a yeah, scarecrow. I'm standing up here. I got to put the hay back into my uh, plant, plant flannel shirt. <laughs> I, I got to get these get these monkeys off. Well, oh, sorry. Spoiler. Whoa, I'll, I'll, whoa, yeah, whoa. We're not there yet. We're not, we're not to that part in the, in the movie yet. Yeah. We, <laughs> Delete the podcast. Yeah. Del- <laughs> Redo. <laughs> no, uh, I think, I think, uh, you know, I, I agree. I think that it's, uh, I think that is what it's about is, is the first meeting with the scarecrow. Yeah. Well, Sam, what are your thoughts? How, how does this song pertain to the Wizard of Oz? I feel like it has to do with Oz a little bit. Okay. 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 You no. Know? Um, she spent her whole journey trying to get to this uh, wonderful place, and you know, I don't know. I think it could have something to do with him no, and her no, finding him. No, no. What do the now what lyrics uh, give you that idea? Hmm. So we're all about facts here. This has got to be some fact. Well, he's Oz is a man, is he? No, Oz is the Not... the, the the place. But the he, wizard of but, Oz. Okay, that's a man. spoiler, I guess, though. Yeah, because no, technically... I, well, they say you have to go to Oz to see the wizard. Yeah, we're off okay. to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Okay. Because, 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 okay. because, because, because of the, the wonderful, wonderful things, things he does. does. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> then... <laughs> Um. How about I can never get enough of a man like you? Ooh. Maybe she likes him. Maybe it has something to do with the type of man. So it's not necessarily one man, mm. but it's the, one man. the um, almost genre of human that uh, she uh, has surrounded herself by in the instance of the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and the Oz himself. They're men who are kind of lacking they're broken and she's trying Mm. to be a fixer and i think that's sort of also reflective in this a little bit of foreshadowing i get you i get you a little bit of foreplay as well yeah it gets a little freaky there (laughs) for a while it's uh, it's in deleted scenes Mm -hmm. it's in the return to oz right that's why nobody fucking fucks with that one yeah (laughs) so guys that's been conspiracy facts thank you for listening 
Tune back in next week, guys. We are on iTunes now, Conspiracy Facts on iTunes. Check out our new website, conspiracyfactspodcast.com. We are also on my phone. I listen to it all the time. So yeah. If so you ever want to listen to it, just borrow my phone. Ask Dylan for his phone. It's on there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you see him, let him know. Thank you guys for listening, and we will talk to you next week. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista, baby. Thank you, Sam, for being here. No, thank you, thank Sam. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.